Hi everyone, this is Christy Nazaro for the Robin Marie Smith design team and today I'm going to make a garland out of Robin Marie's art pop cards. This is the Printmaker Pro series. I'm also going to be using her Garden Muse rubber stamp sheet, some stencils, I have some different color paints, and let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna first start by adding some stencils to the art pop cards. I like to do my stencils with makeup sponges. I cut them and I find that it's a lot easier to maneuver with the stencils when you're using a makeup sponge. going to move on to discuss with you how I got the words joy. I made a printable and I'm going to actually attach that to this blog post so that you can print it out if you'd like. I printed it on white cardstock and then I went ahead and I cut them out. So I'm going to leave them just like that for now because I plan on adding marks and a little bit of doodles and things like that onto the art pop cards. After that, um, I'm going to glue down the words joy and then I'm gonna get working on the actual garland part of the project. And for that, I chose a bunch of different fabrics that I had laying around that I thought would look really cool on the garland. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that and I'll be right back. Now that my art cards are dry, I'm gonna go ahead and add some marks onto the cards just to give them a little extra detail. Now that these are dry, I wanted to show you, I created the word joy on my computer. I actually made it a printable and I'll make sure that it's attached to this uh, blog post and actually to the video so that you can grab it. Um, and now all I'm really gonna do is I'm just going to use my glue stick and I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down.
move on to the fabric part of the garland. Okay, I have some different pieces of fabric here. And really, what I like to do is I like to just start it like this. Just put a little slit in there, and then I just rip it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some strips while my letters dry. Now, I wanna add an element of stamps to a piece of um, just plain off-white fabric. And I'm going to stamp on here, and then I'm going to tear these as well. I'm gonna be using the uh, archival ink, and I'm just gonna be stamping random images on my material. joy cards have um, dried and I have all my ribbon and I actually did some lace also I cut some lace um, I found this cord and this is what's going to be the base of the garland this is what I'm going to tie the cards on and I'm also going to tie the fabric on so I cut a piece about, it's about 80 inches long, maybe a little bit less, maybe 79 inches long, okay? Now you have to think about how you want your garland. Your, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some fabric at the end, then the cards with some fabric mixed in between, and then fabric in the beginning. So before you cut anything or tie anything, just think about how you want your garland to look. So I'm gonna start with the letter Y. That's the first one, and I'm just using a regular hole punch. And in order to make this the same, where they're all going to hang the same way, I'm gonna punch two holes on one card, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll line them up this way and make a little dot where I want a hole punch for the next card. This just makes it a little bit easier when you're punching and then everything is lined up. So I'll do that on that one, and then also on the J. So, how you would start this, I always start from the left to the right. So basically what's going to be the end of the garland. So now I have it strung, I have the card strung. So at least I know where they'll be. And then I want my fabrics and my lace to be different layers and different lengths. So I'm just gonna think about how I want that done and then I'll start to probably tie some of the fabric right here in between the Y and the O and in between the J and the O. This is how you're gonna do the fabric. Take the fabric strip, fold it in half. Then you're gonna put it on here like this. Tuck the ends through like this and pull it down. And you're just gonna repeat that pattern over and over, filling in, moving it where you want it to be moved, and fixing it exactly the way that you like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill everything in and see what we come up with. I 
I just wanted to show you guys that I went ahead and I filled in in between the cards um, with extra, I added extra ribbon and I found some pink tulle and actually some other fabric that I had. Um, it's a great way to raid your stash and to use up some pieces that you have from leftover projects. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.